Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about high-risk pregnancies. A high-risk pregnancy refers to a pregnancy in which there is an anamnestic or diagnostic indication that there might be an increased likelihood of complications for the mother, the fetus or both. There are several criteria which classify a pregnancy as a high-risk pregnancy. We can divide the criteria into maternal and fetal factors. In the maternal factors is, for example, the advanced maternal age, which is typically considered a pregnancy in a woman aged 35 years or older. Lifestyle factors such as smoking, alcohol abuse, drug abuse or obesity also classify a pregnancy as a high-risk pregnancy. Also, pre-existing maternal medical conditions, such as diabetes mellitus, arterial hypertension, epilepsy or heart disease, classify as a high-risk pregnancy. If the mother has chronic infectious diseases, particularly of the genital tract, as HIV or herpes simplex, we want to monitor the mother and the baby more closely during the pregnancy. Another factor is if during the pregnancy medical conditions arise. Those are for example preeclampsia and eclampsia, gestational diabetes or placenta previa. We also usually classify a pregnancy as a high-risk pregnancy if the mother has a history of pregnancy complications with a previous pregnancy. This can, for example, include a previous preterm birth or recurrent miscarriages. Also, many gynecological diseases or disorders lead to a pregnancy being classified as a high-risk pregnancy. This includes the polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a hormonal disorder about which we have a separate video in our gynecology playlist. It increases the risk of complications such as gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, miscarriage or preterm birth. Also cervical dysplasia, often caused by an infection with certain strains of the human papilloma virus, can lead to a high-risk pregnancy. This is usually due to treatment procedures of this condition, such as cervical conization, in which the dysplastic part of the cervix is removed. It can lead to a high-risk pregnancy if the pregnancy occurs shortly after the surgery, as the cervix might not have sufficiently healed yet. Treatment of cancer can also impact fertility or pregnancy outcomes. Also adenomyosis and endometriosis and uterine fibroids, about which we have separate videos, can influence a pregnancy. They may increase the risk of placental abnormalities or preterm delivery, as in those conditions the endometrium is altered by the disease process. Reproductive tract abnormalities, such as structural abnormalities of the uterus, cervix or fallopian tubes, can also increase the risk of miscarriage or preterm delivery. We also have a separate video on this topic. Fetal factors for a high-risk pregnancy are when there is a suspicion or a confirmed case of genetic or chromosomal anomalies, structural anomalies of the baby, or if there is an intrauterine growth restriction. Also, the occurrence of multiple pregnancy, such as with twins or triplets, is classified as a high-risk pregnancy. We have a separate video on this topic in our gynecology playlist. How can we diagnose a high-risk pregnancy? Diagnosis of a high-risk pregnancy typically involves a thorough assessment of the maternal and fetal health. It includes various diagnostic tools of the prenatal diagnostics, which help us to identify a potential risk for the mother or the baby. The first step is usually an ultrasound, as it is a non-invasive and easy-to-perform test. 
It helps us to evaluate the fetal growth, its anatomy, and the structure and function of the placenta. We can also do an amniocentesis, where we obtain a sample from the amniotic fluid to test the baby for chromosomal abnormalities. We can also take a blood and urine sample of the mother to check for gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, or other potential medical conditions. We also usually monitor the blood pressure of the mother, and with a cardiotocography, we can monitor the heart rate of the baby. What is the prognosis of a high risk pregnancy? The prognosis for a high risk pregnancy can vary depending on the specific factors involved and how well they are managed. With proper medical care and close monitoring, many high risk pregnancies can have positive outcomes and resolve without complication for the mother or the baby. However, there may be an increased risk of complications such as preterm birth, gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, cesarean delivery, or stillbirth. How is the delivery of a high risk pregnancy managed? The mode and the timing of the delivery in a high risk pregnancy depend on multiple factors, including the underlying condition, the maternal and fetal well being, and the gestational age of the baby. In some cases, an earlier delivery or cesarean section may be recommended to reduce the risks to the mother or the fetus. Is there any way of preventing a high-risk pregnancy? Many factors that contribute to the development of a high-risk pregnancy cannot be influenced, but there are some ways to reduce the risk for a woman who wishes to have a child. Before planning a pregnancy, it is advised to consult with a gynecologist and or a general practitioner to address and manage chronic medical conditions such as diabetes or hypertension. Also, a change of currently used medications may be advised in some cases. Also, a healthy lifestyle is recommended before and during pregnancy. This can include the avoidance of smoking and alcohol consumption, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins, or the implementation of exercises that are also suitable for pregnancy. Also the intake of prenatal supplements, especially folic acid, and the scheduling of vaccinations can be an important part of preparation for a pregnancy. Some couples with genetic disorders in their family consider to do genetic testing before pregnancy to educate themselves about the chances of having a baby carrying these genetic traits. This can be important in the case of two partners that are carriers for the same genetic disease. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.